What's up guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to boost performance on games that might have a little bit of lag to them. The Nexus 5 is truly a beast of a phone, but some games aren't exactly coded efficiently. It's not necessarily the phone's fault that a game might lag, but we can still use the phone to fix these types of issues. This particular soft mod comes courtesy of developer Hornet and his exposed module performance profile. And since this is an exposed module, you'll need to be rooted to get the framework installed in the first place. But don't let that stop you. I've got tutorials for all that stuff linked out in the article I wrote about this one. And you can find all that if you head over to the link in the description right below this video. So to get started, you'll need to open the exposed installer app and head to the download section. Search performance profile and install the module. When that's done, you'll see a notification with a button that says activate and reboot. So hit that option and when you're back up, we'll check it out. Over here on my personal Nexus, I've already installed this module. It's a pretty simple interface, but the effects can be very powerful. To add a profile to a laggy game, tap the three dot menu button and hit packages. This will populate a list of all the installed apps on your phone. So scroll through this and find the game that you're having performance issues with. Just tap it, then hit the back button to do some more customization. From here, pick the game you just added to this list and you'll see a bunch of CPU options that will only be applied when you're using this particular game. If you'd like to be notified of the CPU tweaks becoming active when you open this app, toggle the notification setting to on. The CPU frequencies can be played around with here, but I wouldn't recommend changing these unless you know what you're doing. The easiest way to get things to speed up in this game is to change the governor. This changes the strategy that the CPU uses when you enter this particular app. By default, it's set to interactive, which means that the CPU will ramp things up only when a high demand is detected, which in some games could come far too late. The most aggressive of these governors is obviously performance. If you set this as your game's governor, the CPU will be fully ramped up as soon as you start playing the game. So once you've made all your changes, just back out and everything will already be in effect. Of course you can add more games and apps by repeating these same steps. But yeah, be sure to check out my article for a more in-depth take on all of this. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.